just at what's next, but at how we got here. Let's make this complete. Gotta have a little Texas beat. Bill Gotti, checking in. He's having a little breakfast taco, one of my favorites. Mmm. They are messy, but they are good. Rainy day. You know it, huh? That allows me to make videos for you guys. Been busy. I tell you, it's been crazy around here. A lot of real life interfering with my YouTube life. Yeah. And uh, it's been hot. Oh my. We had a few visitors. Cub came to visit. Your station for the best music of three decades, Classic Rock. You're not spoiled or anything, are you? No, not at all. What kind of shirt you got on there? It says, my wife says I never listen. Or something like that. <laughs> you don't got a wife. My friend got it for me and I cut it up. Well, on a 99 degree day, it's, it's a nice shirt, isn't it? Yep. No matter what it says. He went to camp and then he came back. <laughs> now he's staying for a month. Yeah. Now he's been a great help. I'll tell you. Mowing grass and stacking and cutting wood and <laughs> splitting wood. He got more than he bargained for. <laughs> well, he gets some other uh, advantages as well. Well, Wes and his crew came visit. Oh. Bye. Wow, look at those big old eyeballs. Come back and see me again, will ya? We had fun. Of course, you guys saw on that last video, I think, where uh, Big Bad Brad and Ellie Mae have been down, so. Thank you, Chef. There's breakfast. That is jicama, previously cooked jicama, and then is cut 
into nice little square chunks and fried with a little onion and mushroom and butter. This is Ezekiel bread, ham slice, egg, and mushroom topped with a little bit of uh, five five Italian cheese, five blend Italian cheese. That is so good. And it's a great way to start the day. I gotta make mention of this new recipe. New to me. I have never had cooked radishes. I never even thought about cooking them. I've always eaten them raw. It's just I've had radish sandwiches. Uh, yeah, you know, they're they're good. Rivet Gardener is the first one to uh, get me educated about cooking radishes. I don't know who that is. And <sighs> I'm telling you, they are good. It's so, so good that I've had to do it twice now. <laughs> This recipe, I believe, came from Pinterest, but it's uh, uh, very simple. You use bacon and um, radishes and garlic and onion. It was really good, really good. And it takes the place of potatoes. Check this out. So here I cook up some steak. This happened to be a ribeye steak with the uh, pepper topping and pepper mushroom onion topping. And then I had the radishes on the side in place of a potato. Mm. Let me tell you, that was good. Here's something new, for me anyway. I fry up some uh, catfish nuggets. What they are, just uh, catfish fillets cut in chunks dipped in my 321 coating but you could use any coating that you wanted and then I fried them at uh, 350 degrees in an electric skillet oh, it is awesome <laughs> yeah it, it, it maintains the temperature it's kind of like uh, yeah I don't have to use as much oil you ever have one of those days hot mm. <clears throat> I'm using the Dutch oven and I'm uh, making up some stuffed green peppers and I have video on that I you know I've made stuffed green peppers many times I love them I use a hamburger cream cheese onion mushroom uh, the tops of the peppers all chopped fine in there with a little bit of garlic of course I have to have that raw garlic and um, I put them in the Dutch oven on a trivet and of course the secret elixir of life <laughs> yes a uh, vessel of amber fluid I suppose you could use the vessel of your choice and my choice happens to be one of those mm -hmm, bush beers place that over the fire for about 30 minutes 
I, at 15 minutes I turn it even though it has a trivet in it it's just nice to have the heat uh, go even but my clumsy butt <laughs> I dropped it but thank goodness thank goodness it it didn't hurt anything other than uh, kind of my peppers kind of squished a little bit but that, that's all right it didn't hit the ground they, they just I just dropped the pan and the pan was hot lid come flying <laughs> but oh nothing worse for the wear it was very good so i've been pretty busy you know making new trails and uh, maintaining the trails that i got and uh cub came down and i uh showed him around on the four-wheeler then he showed me around on the four-wheeler, and then he took off all on his own. <laughs> That's it for now. That's this update. The adventure continues. I want to thank you very much for watching. Bill Gowdy out.